We have been talking with veterans all this week and all told us that their time in the service had a real impact on the rest of their lives. For one a veteran of Vietnam, a man whom some of you will recognize, that experience helped lead to a change of career plans and a life that has helped influence his home state. Here's News Center Maine's Don Kerrigan. Five decades after his time at war, Mike Carpenter says the impact on his life was huge. In some ways, my year in Vietnam was the best year of my life. And in some ways, it was the worst year of my life. Carpenter would go on to a successful political and legal career in Maine. But in 1969, he was a farm boy from Aroostook County, an ROTC grad just out of the University of Maine. And less than a year later, an infantry lieutenant in the 101st Airborne leading a platoon to war. It was absolutely terrifying. I was convinced that somewhere in all of the all of the dots and dashes on my orders directing me to Vietnam, I was convinced somewhere there was a code that said I was going to die. He says that platoon would be sent into the jungle for as much as a month at a time, resupplied by helicopter and hunting for the Viet Cong. So I'd be out there with my 25 to 28 guys um, searching for the enemy, and sometimes we found them, sometimes they found us. It was 1970, and America was badly divided over the war as were the soldiers. It did affect some of the men that were, that were in my platoon, almost all of whom had been drafted, uh, uh, were, uh, were draftees, and, and, and many of them were, had strong anti-war feelings. Mike Carpenter says at that time he still supported the war. He had been planning an army career and had even volunteered for Vietnam. I jokingly tell people occasionally that Stephen King and I marched together in college. He was with the Vietnam Veterans Against the War, and I was with the ROTC detachment, and we had a chain link fence between us, but you know. <laughs> but he was right, and I was wrong in terms of the view of the war. He ended up leaving the Army a couple of years after getting home from Vietnam. He got elected to the legislature and became a lawyer. And in 1990, Mike Carpenter became Maine's Attorney General. His time in the service taught a lot, Carpenter says, about leadership and about life. I think being in the service, especially being in, in combat, makes you appreciate what we have. I very much appreciate a day like today. I very much appreciate what we have in this country. Um, and for me, it, it, it taught me a lot about patriotism, but it, it did teach me not to be blind. Just because somebody has an American flag stuck on the back of their pickup truck, that doesn't mean anything to me. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're a patriot. There are lessons from a tough time in America, but also a time, he says, shaped the rest of their lives. But in some ways, to be able to work with 25 of the finest young people I ever dealt with, there doing our job, doing our mission, uh, was, was very fulfilling. Hmm. And frightening. Oh, and terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Hmm. And yeah. cold. I never was as cold in my life. I lived in Rista County my whole life. I never was as cold in my life as I was in Vietnam. <laughs> and on Veterans Day, Mike Carpenter told us they remember it all. In Bangor, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.